uh, I'm Jayalakshmi. Uh, I think your uh, the sir has already told told a lot about me, and so I don't have to introduce more about myself. But I just want uh, to tell you how French has exp- uh, you know helped me in my career, and uh, what are the fields that I have worked in, and so how to become a translator. I just first thought I will I will tell about all the job opportunities in French. uh i'm i'm just going to elaborate to you what are the job opportunities which are available by reading french and also on a specific area of translation uh, in which i have my forte so i just thought i'll share also the uh, how to become a translator what are the sites available to you know start a translation how how uh, what sh- how should you study and how what can you uh, study to become a translator that's what uh, i wanted to convey through this lecture so uh, to start with i'm uh, i let me introduce myself how i became a translator so accidentally i became a translator and then moving on to the uh, ppt so i'm jayalakshmi actually i started as she as he said i've studied in english i studied english with uh, my forte is english but uh, I, i my and i wanted to become an english lecturer but i happened to be happened to have french as a profession i started studying uh, in alliance française and i i do have a flair for languages and uh, i ended up as a translator and so and then after i dwelled into the field I found there are a lot of opportunities for Bonjour, French in India. Bonjour, bonjour. Yes, uh, I, I there are a lot of opportunities for French in India. So I I just thought, what are the opportunities and avenues which are there for other languages? Uh, I'm I'm restricting myself to French because I know what are the avenues for French. Maybe it is there for other lang other foreign languages too. Uh, pardon. Uh, you please mute yourself I'll, i'll i'll just give you question answer session towards the end of the thing i would uh, love to hear it from you guys so uh, so there are a lot of opportunities for french in india so what are the opportunities which are available and i would like to share the experience on each and every field and uh, so that it might be useful for you so over to the presentation i'm just uh, presenting you my screen One second. I hope it is visible. Yes. Yes, yes. ma'am. Yes. One second. So, uh, so starting starting with academics. so everyone would uh, would say yeah, when you will learn french uh, so the first step would be teaching teaching everybody knows now as far as french is concerned there are a lot of opportunities for teaching uh, because everyone would like to take french as a foreign la- foreign language as the second language and so there are a lot of international school which from which, which are mushrooming all over the city and so everything will have french as a language if not a second language they also have an optional subject wherein uh, french teaching is compulsory it has started even from second or third standard before it was 11th and 12th now then they have extended till from 6th to uh, 12th now they have started from even kg level so uh, teaching has uh, teaching french has opportunity all over if you take any pay sunday paper if you see there would be an uh, option for us uh, uh, teaching french not just in chennai it is across india across the world even there are many opportunities in canada and uh, uh, africa and if if not in france you know the france also have an opportunity but they have native teachers but canada and many other la- many other uh, c- countries which are dual dual languages which has uh, french and english as an official language uh, because the french people would know more of french than english so they need um, a, a person from india to teach in canada because they know both uh, english and french fluently so that they can uh, they can teach well to the students so teaching has not opportunities in india but also abroad so teaching french is the first one then training so what is the difference between teaching and training uh, see 
teaching is only uh, pertaining to school students or uh, 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 you know they have a specific curriculum and you teach but training is something like i did uh, i like my experience training is what i did in my office uh, for example i i worked in a patent development company wherein uh, i have uh, they there are engineers for whom the patent trans patent tell me patent documents they will have to translate it uh, that all that all the people who know french just didn't know technical for example uh, my my fort is not technical i am not trained in uh, you know i don't know anything about nuts or bolts or motor so how will how will the ends meet how will how will i train them so what should i what should the trainer do is that if they want training in specifically medical field i'll take only the medical documents what are the vocabulary which are pertaining to medical field i'll just teach them and train them on that Uh, if they want something in automobile for example in renault they want uh, the um, what to say all the pamphlets to be translated they uh, for them they do not want three uh, book uh, and uh, cupboard to be translated they want all about nut shaft and uh, wheels and uh, steering which has to be translated so i will train the trainers job is to train them according to their specification i uh, if i am going to renault i am going to train those engineers only in those lines so they know to read te- technical documents rather than uh, teaching everything so training will be only for specific months for example in 6 months they'll be trained in learning the pamphlets reading and pamphlet writing so training is at another field which are most uh, which is used most in corporates so corporate training in uh, exclusively in french is very popular nowadays even uh, in you know in in terms of patent translation in terms of in banks in banks they need you know financial translations they just need uh, they don't need everything to be uh, translated they just need assets liabilities you know all these words balance sheet and all those words to be translated they have to know those so training is on specific field then another at another thing is content writer what is a content writing field is like a person who uh, you know as good in writing basically there will be people who are flair for who are flair for writing those people are asked to write web webs uh, you know i am going to start a company but i am not good in writing you know projecting what i am good at so i'll tell you what are my products uh, for example i am i am i'm going to trans, uh, start a translation industry so i have a set of very good translator i want to tell the tell about beautiful profile of the translator so i give it to content writer who will write the content beautifully in french and yeah, post it in the site or even in english or you know uh, for example even in uh, website you see yeah, eng fr uh, you know uh, for everyone to read so if if the person original person write it in english there should be a translation in english translation in german translation in spanish so that it, it is uh, spread worldwide so that is content writing so after content writing what comes proofreading so i have got the content ready so somebody else has to proofread so that is also one other option where you have to pay attention to details uh, you know the comma full stop whether it is on the right place whether it is grammatically right whether it is you know everything is right everything is in right place so that is the job of a proofreader at another is author author in the sense i've got uh, so many stories in mind but i don't know uh, i'm not very good you know uh, I, i can be good and good you know good writer but you know uh, the aesthetic sense is necessary for the writer you know not everybody can become a writer you know the author are the only people who could write with so much of uh, enthusiasm even their narration uh, uh, for example if i have a mass to write i'll just say uh, i went to the room uh, but you know i can't describe the room the room has beautiful lighting the the i can compare the room with something else so that that kind of aesthetic sense there are few who are good at so the author is one ghost author is one who is writing on behalf of you for example i want to write my autobiography but i couldn't write so well so i employ a person who could write on my behalf i'll tell me tell the story to them and they're going to write on my behalf and of course editor so after i write i want somebody to edit and see whether what is right and what is what is wrong 
so this is these are the fields which are there only in academics there are it is not limited to what is there here there are so many others what i am telling you is just uh, you know a small part of it second yes uh it another one is tourism of course uh, everyone knows when it comes to language every everything goes to tourism because you know uh, paris i think you everyone knows paris is the most visited city uh now the tourism development corporations are uh, are you know uh, uh, trying to develop everywhere you know even here they are inviting people from other countries so tourism is uh, one and it another blooming field where interpretation is one of the most important thing because uh, because the french people might not know what it is uh, you know uh, what what he, what they are trying to say if they want to talk uh, and all interpretation is one another field uh, and interpretation is not limited to uh, what uh, to tourist places alone there are quiz interpretation they the people are going for a quiz or, or in the ship all over there are you know people who goes to different countries so where they need they need an interpreter to translate uh, because french is uh, spoken in many countries so they need interpreter along with them so that they interpret whatever they are talking and what are the what are the specialty specialties what are their needs so interpretation is at another blooming field tour guide of course everyone knows who tour guide is uh, for which you just know have to know this area specialty and so you can become a tour guide and flight attendant the flight is uh, you know now nowadays flights are becoming there are so many options for flight not just flight attendant i'm not limiting to becoming an attendant uh, even if you have an upper if you are uh, if you are wanting any job in in a uh, flight or air air related area knowing an extra language is an advantage so if you are knowing french yeah, yeah, yeah. you know the person who knows french and person who do not know french so whom will they choose they are obviously the person who knows french so anything relating to it it is uh, knowing french is an added advantage for becoming a flight uh, you know person jo- employed to be employed in uh, air 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 related area and other back end jobs there are so many back end jobs in tourism uh, for example pamphlet writing you know uh, you know talking and you know calling them for uh, even if if you want french people to come to your thing uh, for example you are uh, you are employed in some translation uh, translation company so sorry uh, tourism company you have to call those people and talk to them and tell them what are the prices what are the places you are going to visit for that you need people so that is all of telephonic interpretation so you just have to talk to them and convey that to the um, uh, to the industries industrial people so that is another part of tourism this is this is all about tourism tourism development uh i hope i am audible uh yes yes ma'am you are audible yes thank you thank you so the next one is government so what are the government jobs which are available uh in this field government job is interpretation one is interpretation you know uh, if you see uh, there if if modi ji goes to the ghost uh, or any other in, you know national figure goes to uh, goes to france or uh, any other place there will be interpreter who will be uh, who will be along with them they will have to interpret whatever they talk and that is one of the highly paid field international correspondence it is not just for the people who are going there there is for international correspondence for example all the government documents are to be translated to uh, some uh, whatever language if you if you if the government has to write something to france they will they uh, the, they will write it in english and it is a job of a translator to exactly translate whatever they have written to the person to the to the uh, uh, yeah, to the government authorities in france and whatever they have conveyed they will have to translate it and send it to the, um, the these people so this is one of the very very thriving field and it is highly paid and highly critical field 
so international correspondents and intelligence operator and government agencies uh, you know all these um, when there is uh, you know all the government secrets intelligence operations are they have the translators with them and they don't have job always but whenever they are they have they will be highly paid for example they have there is a war and uh, uh, not just war they want some uh, you know um, uh, you know the uh, army uh, trading and you know the uh, government government related documents all these secret documents or anything will be done to the intelligence agency the raw agency they will have a translators and those people will have will be highly paid so they 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 always have the government all the government agencies will have translators to to have the respondents to the foreign countries so these are the government jobs for which you will have to be highly qualified to get into these jobs so next comes translation of course uh, um uh, this is this is what i wanted to i wanted to tell you uh, these are what i have worked in actually i have hands on so what are the translations which are available everywhere so i'll tell about translations how to become a translator what are the uh, you know uh, sites in which you can approach and how to do a translation so translations are about first one certificate translation which is you know i do almost every day the certificate translation certificate translation is not limited to what you your degree uh, your birth certificate death certificate marriage certificate uh, you know the bona fide certificate um even uh, i think uh, even the police certificate police verification certificate that there is no uh, that there is uh, you are free from all the uh, any of the uh, you know guilty affairs so all these uh, certificates are necessary if you are going to study there so there are so many students who are coming who are going from india to france or france to some other country english speaking country or india or whatever so they want every certificate to be translated for a person at least 10 certificate per person they want a uh, uh, residence proof they want your birth certificate you want they want your marriage certificate if ever they are married if they want your uh, stay, you know stay, mark sheets mark sheets to be translated even the financial documents you know a person's bank bank statement has to be clear loan certificate all these certificate are to be are to be translated into their language if you're going if one person is going to study study there in france so what what will they do the the that person cannot start, uh, do all these things so they they'll come to the translation agency the translation agency will uh, will give it to the uh, to the translator who will have to translate and give so there are a lot of certificate translation which are available every almost every day i do some certificate translation of a, some university or the other and uh, financial translation financial translation now it is going to be month end i do get many of the financial translation done but uh, uh, some financial most of the financial documents are to be which are were which are very highly confidential they are done in the office itself i am i'm actually a freelancer connected with so many agencies but uh, generally uh, if you are part of uh, agent uh, if you are part of company like bnp pariba uh, Ren- and all uh, you know uh, there are uh, sengoban all these countries even even the cts tcs have financial translations you know all the all the companies financial statements are to be translated the fixed assets you know liabilities all these words you have to know those words to translate translate those things so uh, so those financial documents are on thrive because due to globalization everything has been every uh, everything even the smallest from smallest thing to the smallest pin to the largest uh, purchase everything has to be translated and every financial statement has to be translated that is also one of the thriving field and then contract translation uh, of course due to globalization you know uh, everything which is been brought here uh it has to be uh, you can they will always have a contract between for example i'm go, uh, for doing one of, uh, you know uh, they, the government has uh, uh, you know is going to try a, you know work on metro 
for which one part will be from um, japan one part might be from france they might be that we might we might we might not uh, produce all the components by ourselves yeah so yeah they will sign a contract stating this many part has to be given to them so on that case you will have to write the contract contract transaction has to be done and it has to be renewed every time and so many it is a complete legal translation and also in france if i want to buy uh, if you if i want to if an indian wants to have a place in a mall and to sell something he will have to sign a contact with the contract with them so that contract has to be translated for them to understand so those people give it for us to translate uh, translate those document and we will translate those contract documents it will be bilingual generally it will be both in french and for and in english for everybody to understand so vice versa if they if, you are, if they are giving it in french i have got to translate in english if they are giving it in english we have got to translate it in french and then of course patent translation uh, for now there it is a one of the booming field so now there are a lot of scientists or or not just scientists even if you want if you have discovered even the smallest one or if you are done a variant of something there is always a computer but uh, there is always another uh, another you know something new which is added on to the computer for example uh, touch screen computer is now done so for which they will get a patent next next uh, there will be touch and feel computer and then next will be the ca camera will be added you know high ha high quality camera will be added for which there will be patent then the high quality camera with uh, selfie uh, camera will be added for which there will be patent then it will be just moving on if you see there will be even for uh, uh, mobile there will be something new which is added on to the mobile before it will be just nokia old mobile and after that it has become camera mobile now what all features which we cannot imagine has been added on to the mobile for every feature added there will be a patent every feature added so all these the same way it is in the civil field civil or electrical electrical you know how advanced it is now uh, electronics of course and so electronics which means you know in the washing machine what are the extra features which has been added and civil you know in the in the in the in the building industries what are the extra new things architecture architectural beauties which are added so everything will be patented for all the patents the the translated has to be a translation has to be done because it it cannot be just in french it, it has to be in english it has to be in any other languages so that uh, a person if you want if they want to add something new if they have invented new they will have to check those patent sites whether it whether that invention already exists if not they can ask for the patent otherwise it is not so it has to be there in all the languages so patent translation is one of the very blooming field field so uh it it is not uh, it is not limited to whatever field i have mentioned here it has so many other fields which are added and website translation uh, of course uh, you have website for everything even blogs and your know, story writing so uh, for website there should, there is always a need of translation because uh, now all the websites are multilingual if you see in every website there will be f r e n uh germany spanish every languages it has been translated so website translation is one of the very blooming fields so moving on now uh, um, if if ever you guys want to be a translator uh, now you are if you are you are you want to take up translation as a profession what is the first thing which you have to do that's what i'm going to say yeah um there are uh, several sites first thing you have to uh, pre -qualif qualification for it is uh, just learn french uh, at least till level 4 level 4 is prerequisite or uh, yeah level 4 is prerequisite to become a translator it should be fluent or in ma french or uh, to the level in which you can you will be able to translate just uh, maybe translate some paragraph in random you, if you are able to translate try different things learn it and then uh, when you are confident enough and if you are inspired to be a translator you can delve into the field so i wanted to become now a translator how do i become how do i start start my career so first thing why if you want to become a translator 
register yourself in these uh, sites pros translator cafe translation directory you know all these are just small sites which i'm referring to there are so many others which are available online these sites are there are both paid sites uh, paid one and unpaid one you know free one so for free it is limited that is they they the, the translate the um, uh, you can for if you have paid membership you can bid on the translation documents and do the documents if you are uh, if you are not if you are doing it for free if you are registering it for free you can at least check on what are the translation agencies which are offering jobs what i did what personally i did is that i have registered myself in pros for example i have not uh, opted for paid membership first i just thought i'll i'll go in for a free membership after i go in for free membership there will be so many ads which has been posted uh, i'll just check on those which are in india so that i can uh, talk to them in person and get the documents done or become a translator uh, rather than going for um, you know france or germany or in but th- th- those will be highly paid and uh, but i cannot talk to them on the first category so i just thought i'll first approach the um, uh, th- those who are in india so i'll just check on those lines you know who who, uh, who what are the agencies that needs documents to be proofread or translated so i'll just go google them get the get the phone numbers or email ids and send my resume to them so after soon after sending a resume to those translation agencies what they'll do is they'll give you a, a sample document so that is a proof that you are able to do the translation which which utmost quality because you know there are a lot of google translation sites and bing and microsoft translators they just go and there are many translators just google it and do it but uh, what is the difference between there is or there is nobody can equal manual translation manual translation is highly different from google translation so uh, what you have to do is spend some some time to uh, do a sample document perfectly and send them if your sample document is good enough they will give you a translation job a uh, translation job varies according to the price it can be from 1 rupee a word to 5 rupees a word depending upon the complexity of the document so if it is it is per word basis if even if it is a, a audio document it will be per minute basis per minute they will charge around uh, 100 to 500 uh, 500 rupees per minute for translating a video content uh so subtitle writing subtitles you know that that also it can be more depending upon the complexity of the thing so and these are the these are the ways and you can check on the translation agencies in google and apply to them at least few of them will certainly respond and uh, with one one uh, you know uh, push you can move in for many these are what i'm saying is for freelancing for uh, regular translation there are so many jobs which are available uh, there are so many companies which offers them like there are so many companies like pariba hp tcs cts um, uh, saint goban uh, renault which offers translation jobs on a regular basis hdfc hsbc icici all the companies you know uh, now uh, offers translator jobs paid translation sites these are paid translation sites wherein uh, translia mona translation they'll they'll ask you for the sample if you are qualified you know small test will be given and if you are qualified with it you can move on there will be a paragraph given you uh, there will be they'll be posting it now and then whenever you are free you can go to that site if the if there is some some translation which has been there you can translate it or proofread it according to that a uh, pricing will be points will be given as soon after getting 100 points you can redeem it to 100 dollars so and it these sites are uh, you know uh, true and i've got money from that you know they will pay through paypal after uh, soon after completing some 100 points or something they'll pay you 100 dollars you can redeem it whenever you want so the, these are the sites where you have to translate in the site itself then comes then uh, now uh, now i've dealt well i've got the document 
uh, how do i translate uh, how do i translate uh, so you have different dictionaries dictionary sites one is grand dictionnaire grand dictionnaire why i have i'm specific about grand dictionnaire is that there is one word like if there is a word like uh, entre the word e n t r e it has the meaning of entry it has the meaning of inlet it has a meaning of input so there are there will be several meanings for the single word the word arbor uh, the word arbor means everyone will directly say it is a tree but in uh, technical document it is, it is a shaft so uh, if you see something in technical document arbor you will wonder what it is why this arbor is coming here you will that is actually shaft which you can find it in grand dictionnaire you just have to be specific about the field put a specific field and put that word it will give you the term accordingly so uh, when i am telling about motor this motor is the word which i was uh, when i was uh, think i was i generally motor is a motor i always think think of that sort and then put motor and then i came to know motor has the word motor and engine and motor and engine are so different it is not the same so where to use what matters so you just have to put the right technical term you know technical uh, field in which you have to search and then put it wordreference.com is for other word documents and prose.com is for uh, certain complicated words for example there are people who are helping each other for example i have found out some uh, um, for interestingly uh, in every letter there will be uh, je uh, um, salutation distingue je vous offre salutation distingue uh, or uh, the, these these this is there in the last form of the letter but if you translate as distinguished salutations it will be funny when you translate into english you will have to think in english when you are translating into french you have to think in french so when if i can i cannot say distinguished salutations for which i have checked in prose.com they said with best regards that is the actually meaning so if for example even the simple words like j uh, these are i i i can't translate as i have 10 years it is i am 10 years so when you are translating you can't literally translate so this prose.com or lingue will help you to check on the uh, on these uh, beautiful uh, technicalities so this prose.com helps you in doing it so now that i have uh, i have i have started to translate how to translate a document uh first thing is uh, comprehend comprehending a document comprehension is understanding the document i as i have told you uh, every uh, you know though you are expert in language comprehension of a language is a prerequisite uh, you have to dwell into the document understand the significance of the document so that there is no misinterpretation as i have told you on three again, again there is a word sorti sorti is uh, exit but if you are translating a document which is pertaining to a, a civil document there is an exit so entre means exit if i am tra translating an uh, information technology document it is an output it is not exit i can't say exit it is an output so if i am taking uh, telling about an electronic electrical document then it is an inlet not input so there is so for everything there is a different different uh, 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 you know translation so you have to understand the document understand what is the field in which they are talking about and write the corresponding word then uh, if you are doing some technical documents uh, you what not just french is necessary for understanding a document you will have to know a technical expertise for example if i am i am i'm 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 taking a technical document with me but uh, i don't understand if i don't understand technical technique i don't have technical knowledge at all i will not be able to do the document because i had errors so it is not that i'm i'm without errors i'm flawless it is i what i am telling you is of my experience with the errors which which i had undergone so the word axc this word axc uh, ax means axis it also means axle but i don't know what is axis and what is axle how then how do i translate 
how do i put the right word in the right field so for which you have to uh, if if they if i have i've got two meanings one is axis other is axle for the same word in a uh, in a dictionary so i have to look up what is axis okay axis is an imaginary line okay uh, then axle axle is a tool so i will have to check the sentence again whether it is uh, whether it is relating to axis which they are talking whether x axis y axis or the tool uh, if i say axis connected to a shaft then it must be a x l e only axle only because i can't connect axis to the uh, to a to a shaft so so you just have to understand the document what it is talking about understand the meaning with a dictionary and then translate it as i told you motor the word motor automobile industry motor is translated as in, uh, engine but in electrical industry motor is translated as motor so you just have to understand the nuances of uh, technical writing before dwelling into the field so basics have to be learned or you just have to refer the dictionary before putting in the right word then homophones uh this often this is often a problem when it comes to interpretation you know i say uh, they say amand amand also means almond also means fine when you are translating an audio homophones are the biggest challenge the several words will have same pronunciation you don't know how what what they are talking about o o for example it also means it's a arthic contract eh? and o means water osito osito too early and also immediately and author author uh, author is author and hotter hotter also it also sounds the same avoka avoka avocado on the lawyer bu bu uh, bu the thing this is a tip of something or bu is also mud sa sa is uh, pronounced as 100 is also sa sa is also without kon Kant, uh, the story is also pronounced the same, and uh, account is also pronounced the same. Ete, of course, ete is summer, and ete, uh, a ete, the participle passive of uh, et is also ete. Fua, fua is faith, fua is liver, and uh, in, you know, in, uh, in in if you are translating something with relating to a doctor um, uh, audio, it will be very confusing. What is fua? Her, her is har. And her uh, ler ler is also there. Ler is her. Mare is sea. Mare is mother. And where is around? Where is glass? So all these homophones are the problematic ones in uh, when it comes to audio. So these are the problem uh, which you face when it when it comes to audio uh, translation. So you have to pay attention to details and pay attention to the next part of the sentence. With that, you will have to arrive at the conclusion what they are talking about. Sometimes that are, that also will be confusing. You will have to again and again uh, uh, put on the audio and uh, find out the homophones are the biggest challenge when it comes to audio, audio translation. And four zamis, four zamis are, are uh, another thing. Um, the, the the words which look similar as French, what uh, people people will do is that even in uh, exams i see uh, when it comes to translation translating a document some words look like french some like some words look like english so they will just translate as such but it is tricky that is called as four zamis you will have to know what these words are Gro grand is generally translated as grand grand is not grand grand is actually big so attend 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 uh, attend is generally they just translate into attend attend it is not attend but it is wait and blessed blessed is not blessed it is wounded on we is not envy it is wish or desire voyage voyage is not voyage it is to travel journey is not journey it is a day library is not library it is a bookshop Coin is not coin; it is a corner. So all these words, the generally people misunderstand and just and just write it. So the real meaning is different. You just have to work on it to find it out. So one second. Yes, that is that is that is what I wanted to uh, tell you. So there are uh, uh, to end up my uh, end up my statement. I say I want to say uh, there are a lot of scope for being a translator. So it is just that you will have to uh, have a determination 
and you know little more hard work to become a translator um uh, there are so many pioneers in this so there to guide you i wish at least somebody who gets inspired and become a translator and bloom in that field i'll be very glad and i'm open for any questions please it's that uh, the forum is all yours thank you ma'am thank uh, it's uh, thank you very much ma'am it was a really wonderful session and okay so guys now uh, time for the question answer and uh, one thing ma'am uh, actually we have uh, not live through the U youtube channel so only 100 people can join so many students they are not able to join they they complain so we will be like uh, doing the we have recorded already done the recording and it goes to the, the uh, student will watch also so now uh question answer session if you have any question answer please ask students any questions even if you put it in the chat box i'll be uh, there to answer we are not getting question any question is there no till now nobody replied anybody have any question see the question shows that you you know that you have uh, like interested you have learned everything right for that only question always question ask those who have uh, curiosity those who have learned yes ma'am abirami ma'am any question is there just a person thinks sir i want to ask uh, mom did you took french as a second language in college also ah uh, yes i have i have done my second language only in college till my 12th i didn't do uh, french as a second language i have taken up with that in college and uh, i uh, suddenly i don't understand it was greek and latin to me so i started i have started to the alios francis classes and then it happened to be my interest okay uh, hello actually i also took b english in meenakshi only Okay, okay. The French professor was uh, Vasanthi Rajagopalan. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. He was the one inspiration who took, who made me to took MA French. Okay, okay. That's great. So both are alma mater. Now. Yes. <laughs> yes, Ramya, ma'am. Yes, you did a cross major. Did you do your course in Alliance France, ma'am? Ah, uh, pardon. I couldn't. I couldn't hear you properly. Sorry. Uh, she was asking that you have done your courses in Alliance Francaise. Yes, I've done my course. I I've done four levels in Alliance Francaise, and then did one technical uh, technical uh, translation in Alliance Francaise. Technical. Um, is it possible to uh, be a translator without uh, without going to Alliance Francaise, but only the uh, UG PG uh, French? Uh, yes you can you can of course if you if you know the french well basically it is the, it is just that you have to know french well uh, it was actually difficult for uh, as far as translation is concerned it is possible if you want to become an interpreter because the ug and pg doesn't offer more of spoken french and so uh, for the interpretation it might be little difficult because uh, uh, but if you are good at french uh, as, as far as the certificate doesn't matter if you are good at french and if you are able to convey what their requirement are you can always be a translator or interpreter yes okay. thank you thank you ma'am actually she is our uh, one of uh, faculty members is uh, professor ramya so the question okay. from her okay so actually we are here three uh, ramya ma'am abirami ma'am and me so oh, great 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 i'm i'm so honored i'm so happy to thank, have thank you ma'am thank you thank you ma'am so any any student do you have any question ma'am the online classes they don't ask question only offline classes they'll be asking questions online classes uh, probably we will meet meet we meet people in person uh, yes ma'am one day please come to the college we'll uh, sure, have sure, a sure, sure. Sure I, I, seminar I, i'll also invite you for uh, for our college once most most welcome ma'am we are always welcome sure 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 okay I, so I uh, 
Right. So uh, I'll ask uh, Ramya ma'am to uh, give the vote of thanks to the ma'am. Sure. My heartfelt thanks to Madam Jai Lakshmi for educating the students to know more about the science exposures in current times, not only in India but all over the world. Thank you so much, ma'am, for letting us know the vacancies for French language in various fields such as banks, medical field, teaching, as a content writer. Mainly, tourism plays a vital role. Hope this session would have been informative and interesting to the students. Thank you for sparing your valuable time, ma'am, and your endless support. Thank you so much. Um, thank you so much, Ramya. It was a really useful session for us. Ma'am, uh, especially thanks to you. Even we are not knowing this much scope is there in the uh, translation. Uh, actually, just we come and teach, but now from this, knowing a lot of things, lot of, I have taken all the screenshots. So I'll be also going through that and I'll be also, you know, uh, trying any problem at all come, we'll be, you know, uh, asking you. you. I'll be, I'll be there. Uh, sure, ma'am. Guide you guys. I'll, Thank I'll, you. I'll be happy if, uh, you know, if we, if we will have to help each other to and... Uh, sure, ma'am. Sure, ma'am. Yes. And and for yes. A, a student also, it's useful because, uh, ma'am, they can utilize and they can earn their pocket money itself. Yes. Because many students, they're very good in French. They can utilize it and they can go ahead and they can learn some money. Sure, sure. Thank, yes, you. Yes, yes. Thank you very much, ma'am. Whatever the like, scope was there, it's, it's fulfilled by you. Ultimate, it was ultimate. Uh, as, as I know that you have already, have, uh, in Essence Memorial, I was there and you have given the lecture. I, uh, yes. I was knowing you. So for a student also, it's good. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, let's, uh, we'll end the session. Yeah, all Take over. care, take yes. care. Au revoir, ma'am. Take care.